Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we will discuss Laplace transform on integrals as well as inverse Laplace transform on integrals. Okay. So on left hand side, I am writing Laplace transform on integrals. And on right hand side, inverse Laplace transform on integrals okay so <clears throat> obviously uh, f of s that means laplace of f of t that will be given so if laplace of f of t this is equals to f of s then then laplace of integration integration 0 to t f of x dx this is equals to actually here i have written f of x dx actually this is nothing just you have the given function f of t in place of t you have to write x or in question paper it, it will be given okay why because in uh, comp uh, integration limit you can uh, see that here the lower limit is zero and the upper limit is variable t so when the upper limit or lower limit, that means integration limit is variable t, then you cannot write the same variable in integral part. Okay, that's why I have changed uh, the variable t to x and the result will be always same. Okay, integration uh, f of x dx, that will be always equals to integration f of t dt. Okay, if the integration limit is same, if the function is same, if you change the variable, result will be always same. Okay, so here uh, Laplace of integration 0 to t fx dx that will be equals to very simple. Laplace transform on integral is very simple. Just you have to divide the function f of s by s. Okay, so Laplace of integration 0 to t fx dx, this is equals to 1 by s f of s. Okay, similarly, if Laplace inverse f of s, this is equals to f of t, then, then Laplace inverse of integration, in this case, uh, in Laplace transform, the integration limit is 0 to t. But in inverse Laplace transform, the integration limit will be s to infinity. Okay, so Laplace inverse integration s to infinity f of u du. Same concept here you have the lower limit s variable. That's why I have changed the variable to u. Okay, so Laplace inverse integration s to infinity f u du. This is is equals to very simple. Just you have to divide f of t by so in this case, f of s by s, and in this case, f of t by t. Laplace transform integral is very simple. I think this is the easiest uh, uh, concept in Laplace transform. On integral and as well as fast shifting property, scale property, this is very simple also. Okay, let's try a problem. Find Laplace transform of integration zero to t e to the power t cos of 2t dt okay solution what is f of s first you have to calculate f of s here f of t this is equals to e to, e to the power t into cos 2t so first you have to calculate the laplace of e to the power t into cos 2t okay so what is Laplace of cos 2t? Obviously, s by s square plus 4. And Laplace of e to the power t cos of 2t. This is equals to, this is fast shifting property because here uh, the function is multiplied by e to the power t. So you have to use fast shifting property. And here the value of a is 1. So s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 whole square plus 4. So this is equals to s minus 1 divided by s square 
minus 2s plus 5. Okay, s square minus 2s plus 5. Obviously, this is your f of s. Yes or no? Now you have to calculate Laplace of Laplace of integration 0 to t e to the power t cos of 2t. Okay, remember when uh, in, in, in Laplace transform uh, problems, if the given function f of t, this is the product of uh, different functions. Suppose in this problem, the function f of t is the product of exponential function and trigonometric function. Okay, in that case, you have to solve the problem step by step. Okay, first calculate Laplace of trigonometric function, then apply fast shifting property. Okay, in this way. Then I am applying the integration formula. So integration 0 to t, e to the power t, cos to t. Okay, result is very simple. You have to divide the result f of s by s. So that will be 1 by s into s minus 1 divided by s square minus 2s plus 5. Okay, I am not solving any more problem on uh, this Laplace transform integral. Try to solve uh, thus far exercise problems. Okay, thank you so much.